What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboz. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it, because at 3,800 subscribers, we're having a completely free raffle. This is the third time I record this intro, because for some reason, it wasn't recording. But, let me show you guys what I did. I hooked up this line. I routed it up this way, and I spliced it into this. I put a T right here. And then I went ahead and I put zip ties everywhere. Um, I still need two more zip ties right here. But besides that, everything has a zip tie. And of course, this is the, the vacuum for my blowout valve. I also went down here and I installed the vacuum hose for the wastegate. And it goes from right there, comes up right to the turbo right there. There's a little fitting right here. I also came over here and I installed the little shifter right there. And for some reason it wasn't recording. So I hope that it's recording this time. So in today's video, we're going to be installing an oil catch can. This is what I have. This is what I got. This might look familiar, this design. Let me show it to you guys real quick. So this catch can came with a bunch of fittings. They're all in here. A bunch of different little things. It came with some O-rings. It came with the little filter on top. And basically what this is gonna do is gonna catch any oil that's supposed to be going back through the system to be reburned. Um, there are two ways to get this installed in the in the Civic. I'm gonna show you one of the ways, but I am gonna show you both ways and what the difference is between both of those ways. Um, the design does look like a little oil filter at the bottom. That's how you would drain it. And then as you can see, this part right here, so this would be the in and this would be the out. So this part on the in, it's got a small little filter right here, which would then catch the oil. So it would go down and then it would just come out this way. It does have this little thing on here, which is kind of like a dipstick. So you can measure how much oil is in there. Goes all the way to the bottom. And I think how we are gonna run it, we are actually gonna move this guy to over here. Cause I really don't have a lot of clearance under the hood. I'm going to show you guys why right now. So like I said, we're running somewhat of a clearance issue. Um, I don't want to place it back there because I'm going to put my FMU back there. Either there or there. I'm not sure yet. And of course, the battery goes over there. And the only spots that I have would be over here. And I feel like this is like too far. That it's going to be too far away. So I might end up putting it here, like right there. But this filter that's on the top, I'm actually gonna place it on the side right here. So now with it on the side, it would be somewhat like this. Around there. There's already a hole right here that's threaded that I'm thinking that I'm gonna be using. It's right here. And the way how you install this, it's got these little holes in the back. And then it's got this other uh, bolts up here that you would take off and this whole little bracket would just come off. So it's really up to you how you want to install it. Um, like I said, this might be the only good spot because I feel like this is like way too far, way out here. Um, so you guys are wondering, how am I going to run my lines? 
and what's going on with this hole on the top well let me explain right now so there's two ways to run this the first way I'm gonna show you is to run disconnect this line which runs to your PCV valve right here disconnected run this all the way to here which is your in and then run a line to your out back to the vacuum source and what you're basically doing is you're rerouting the line to just filter it into this and catch any oil or anything and then use the vacuum source still to pull everything in there that's one way of doing it this is the way how a lot of people do it especially a lot of NA people but since we're turbo you guys already know that a lot of the turbo guys will run these fittings right in the back of the valve cover on each side in the front of the valve cover um, really depends where your oil catch can is going to be and that's how they'll decide where, where to place this. So what we do is get these guys welded on here and then we'll run two lines into this. And you're probably wondering, there's no vacuum source to that. Well, the reason why we do that is because the turbo is going to put so much pressure on this head there's going to be so much pressure on here that we're trying to relieve all that pressure into there. Therefore, you don't need a vacuum source to be pulling, which is another way to run it to your oil catch can. The way how I'm going to run it today is going to be like this. So I'm going to have a line from here coming into here and I'm not going to have a line going back this is just going to catch any oil that is being released through here any of that back pressure is going to push it in there I did put a plug on the top and I did put the filter on this side so it could release any heat or anything through the filter itself any pressure any air so you could just relieve itself that way so those are pretty much the two ways to run it and like I said I'm not gonna do this one because there's no need for that one my main goal is to release pressure from the head I am planning on getting uh, the two bongs welded I'm not sure if in the back or in the front maybe later on I'll reroute it to over here and just put a, a bong coming out of here and to something over here but for now this should work fine and I'm gonna go ahead and get it installed before I get started make sure you guys do use these little o-rings right in here you guys slip them on here otherwise you might get a leak later on so it's got to look something like like that on the o-ring Like I said, 
there's two different ways to get this installed and this is the way that I'm gonna do it because of the turbo but later on I am gonna go ahead and do a different way but for now this should work just fine if I start to see that there's a lot of oil coming out of here or something then I'll go ahead and figure something else out but for now this should be fine it is pretty close to the intake over here the, the piping but I think it should be fine it also came with this hose I do have I do have a better hose that I could have installed right here it's a braided line that would have been a lot nicer but since this one's clear I want to see if if it is working so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the clear one for now And I know once the car starts making pressure from that turbo, that there's going to be pressure on this HUD. I already know. And I really don't want to recirculate it because, as you guys know, it goes from here to here, usually on the regular intake. And I don't want to recirculate it because of the fact that they say that you get a lot of uh, carbon buildup on your valves because of this but also because of the turbo there is going to be probably a little bit more oil than the normal and i really don't want to burn all that stuff i'd rather just catch it and just dump it out so everything's pretty much in i'm gonna make sure this filter is nice and tight See, it was loose. It's nice and tight. And that's pretty much it. That's what it should look like. At least the way how I installed it. But, um, you guys have to decide where you guys want to place this guy. The reason I placed them there, like I said, is because there was already a threaded hole right there. And I figured that would be the best spot. I'm going to go ahead and put the zip ties on here before I forget. And I also went ahead and I put the little clamp back on here. And this guy's back on there pretty good. You guys already know, if you guys have any questions on anything, just go ahead and drop me a message. And I always try to respond as quickly as possible to anybody. So this might be the last video that I make for a few days because as you guys already know um, we have a new child on the way and the baby should almost be here anytime anytime she has already reached the full term so sometime this week baby Barbas should be here so this is going to be the end of the video, 
You guys wish us luck and I will catch you on my next video. Remember, wash your hands, stay clean. Catch you guys later. Peace. Bye.